One of my friend was recently asking, how am I generating my YouTube thumbnails using AI? In this video, let me show you how can you generate AI images and that can be utilized in YouTube thumbnail or any other purpose. Let me show you two, three options which I use and hopefully you will be also able to use it and enjoy the journey. So in the first option, let me show you using ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT to generate my thumbnails at least 80% of the time. So that's why I'm starting it with ChatGPT. I already have one prompt copied. If you see that it's a quite a detailed prompt. Whenever you are generating an image using any of the AI tool, your prompt needs to be detailed. Then only you will be able to get your desired result. What I'll do, considering it's a very detailed prompt, I'm not going to read out here. What I'll do, I'll add it in the video description so that you can use it from there and just try. Make certain changes as per your requirement, change certain parameters here and there. How I described in this particular prompt, you may have some better idea, right? So you can use that and generate. So let me do one thing, let me hit enter and see that how ChatGPT generates this particular image and uh, what's the result. So you can see it started creating that image and it will take a bit of a time to generate the entire image and then it will pop up with the result. So let's see how it comes up. You can see it gave two options that these are the two images it generated and one is this one. Uh, you can see it looks not that realistic. Earlier, I used this similar prompt and got a better result, but I'll also show you another option using which you can really get very realistic and good images. Let me uh, do one thing, let me respond that, and then if I hit enter, it will again go and come up with that new response. So what happens if you use the same prompt, you will not get the same result every time. That's one of the drawback we have in any of the AI tool, but that is also something maybe make every picture unique, right? Now you can see it came up with a better option. This image is much, much better than the earlier one. If I go to the earlier one, you can see this guy is not wearing anything. And uh, also it looks not that realistic. And if I close and, but this one is much better option. Now, if you need to download this image, just click on that. It will maximize the image and then using this icon, you will be able to download this image. I have downloaded this image as I'm going to utilize it in any of my future video. So this is the way you can generate images using chat GPT-4. This is the option number one. Now let me show you the next option and that is using a custom GPT. That is Glibatry Art Designer. If I click on that, what it does, based on your prompt, it generates four different images. And it also gives you prompt of those four images using which it generated the image. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I paste the same prompt again, and then I hit enter, what it will do, it will tell you that what is going to do. It mentioned, it understands that what's your requirement, and then it will redescribe your requirement. Then you can see, it is generating that prompt. You can just click on copy and you can use this prompt later. You can also understand how it is generating and what are the criteria parameters it is giving to generate a good image. If you want to learn that art of prompting, this can also be helpful. Now you can see it generated the first image. Now it is going for the second image and for that it will also use a separate prompt. You can copy that prompt also. And it will also be available in your history down the line. If you want to reuse any of the prompt, you can use it from here. Now let's see how the second image is coming up. It's still creating and it will generate total four. So this is the second one. Second one is also came. This is also very realistic. If you see this image, it came. I'm definitely going to use this image in one of my upcoming videos. And let's see that how the third image will look like. It is also generating now. Yes, third one also came in a different way. So it tried to give two different perspectives. So you can see one color scheme in the left, another in the right. So it normally changes the different way because here you can see it's a side face here. This particular image was front facing. So all four options it generates. Now, one thing we need to consider here, whenever you are using chat GPT, certain time you have some limitations per hour, how many prompts you can execute. Whenever you are using Glibatory custom GPT, it will use four of your prompts there. So 
if you need to work on certain things so plan accordingly so that you should not reach the threshold and you need to wait for a few of the hours before you start working again right so this is one part and the fourth one also came very nicely right and i'll download these images it will be really useful so this is the second option now let me show you another option using which you can generate very good images and that is Microsoft Copilot Pro. You can see this is the console of Microsoft Copilot Pro and there multiple different options are there. The one option is there that is creative. Here you can use either GPT-4 or GPT-4 Turbo. If I hit enter, then it will also generate the image. Let's see how this particular result comes up. But while it's generating, Chat GPT-4, Copilot Pro, all are paid option. Every company charges $20 per month on an average. So that may not be useful all the time. I have another video. You can check the link in the description below. It's coming up where I talked about all the free options also using which you can generate your images. Maybe certain images may not be in this kind of a quality or the way you are looking for, but it will solve your purpose in 80% of the cases. So check out that video for the free option. It is coming up next. This is created. If you see, this image is quite similar to the one ChatGPT generated few minutes back using Glibatory Custom GPT, right? This face uh, is a bit familiar there. So uh, here another good option is you have multiple different options that you can change this particular image to a different style. If I click on watercolor, what it will do, it will recreate that image in watercolor uh, type of a tone. So if you have a specific requirement, then Copilot Pro also gives you certain additional feature using which you can generate the image. Now you can see it generated a new image altogether, but using a different theme. If you are not happy, you can undo this particular action and you, it will give you the old image back. So, but this is one very good thing within Microsoft uh, Copilot, you can open this image in Microsoft Designer app and there you will also be able to play with the image and you will be able to uh, do multiple things. Again, I'm in process to record another video where I'm planning to cover Microsoft Designer app end to end so that we all can use it. So please subscribe to this channel so that if you want to watch that video too, and hopefully you will also enjoy watching that video. So this is all about it. These are the three tools I normally use to generate my YouTube thumbnails. If you have access to these tools, you can use it and you can generate these images. I have recorded another video where using some of the free tools, you can also generate stunning AI images. Check out this video to know how can you generate AI images for free.